Here at Date with Destiny with Anthony Robbins, 5,000 people, 68 countries represented. It's amazing how people from all over the world have come to be at this event. Coming to this event has really committed me to say, you know what, you don't have to settle. Getting back the spark in my life that my sister says has been missing for like three years. It's absolutely life-changing. It has to happen. It's been transformational. There is a, a humanity that occurs at a, an event like this that you just can't get by yourself. What we're going to learn here these next few days is what controls every thought, every feeling, every emotion of your life. So we're going to discover who we really are. I'm going to give you processes that if you play full out, if you're really honest with yourself, you'll really know what's really real versus what's conditioned in you that maybe you've gone on for years. This program's not about changing you. This is about know thyself. There's know thyself and then there's be thyself. And once you know who you are, being yourself is actually the easiest thing in the world. gives you this feeling of that you can do anything. You know, you're unstoppable. But yeah, I've been, uh, I was sitting next to uh, the guy on my right yesterday, Bridget, nice to see you, Ta Tanya, good morning. The guy on my right yesterday, uh, uh, awesome businessman, owns multiple companies from the UK. Good morning, Tim, thank you. Um, uh, he's he's my accountability partner and, and I'm his accountability partner in at this event and uh, and the guy that was sitting to my left was from is from Saudi Arabia and I'm like wow people from Saudi Arabia coming all the way over here just to be a part of Des uh, date with destiny with Anthony Robbins to get some David nice to see you uh, Jose nice to see you but he came all the way from Saudi Arabia and and I was like, why, why, did, why did you come this far? I'm always curious. And he's climbed the corporate ladder, a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, felt like he can't really go any further in his life. And uh, that's why he came. So just, uh, it, you, meet a, you meet some interesting people. And I'll tell you another thing too. If you wanna know the best people to sponsor, I'm gonna tell you they're not at GoPro Mastery. They're not going to be at probably even Ray Higdon's events. The best people, if you want to find some incredible people, and I'm talking about leaders, because the only way you're going to make some serious money in this business is if you, you got to get drivers in your business. How many people do you know would pay $5,000? That's a general admission ticket. It's almost five. It's close to five. I think it's 4,500 for general admission to come to this event. Hey, Filippi, to come to this event, 45, uh, uh, a diamond seat, like what we, me, my wife, and my son have. I bought three tickets at 7,000 7, each, right? I mean, what kind of people would come to this event? And I'll tell you, when you look at them, they're from all walks of life. I mean, you're gonna see professors here. You're gonna see people that are, that are PhDs. You're gonna see hippies. You're gonna see hippies. You're gonna see people that are that are uh, athletes. I'm talking about gold medal winners, high high performance people, and then just regular people. I've seen young people. I've seen. There's even children here at this event. Uh, I think a boy that was uh, up a few rows from me the other day was was probably no more than 11 years old. And his parent brought him here. I saw several parents have brought their children to this event. And uh, it's interesting to know, I, I think, why, why, why? And then, of course, Anthony talks about it. The, gener the Generation Y is probably one of the most screwed up generations. No offense. My son is one of those. Okay. Because it was a generation of, that was brought up with entitlements. They were always told that they were perfect, that they're... 
that they're doing everything right. We didn't criticize them. We want to really build them up because we want them to have a, you know, confidence when they become adults. So, and I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of it, you know, and build them up, build them up, build them up. And then when they become adults and then they're challenged in, in, in either school or, you know, university or a job, and that's not the message their teachers or their bosses are telling them. It's like they go into shell shock and their lives get screwed up. Many of them end up on drugs. Uh, they just do stupid things. And Anthony was talking about how I, that it was that way with his son. Uh, you know, just a big mess with drugs and all that because of the way that his, you know, his first wife had actually molded those children before they got married. And then how he tried to reverse that and help them out uh, with her opposition to that. And then, of course, they later divorced, you know, but but let me go back to this, you know, this message here. And and I talked about, fi you know, fixing what's broke. How many people in network marketing come into your team or other teams that you know? in your company, in your business, and these people are just like emotionally needy, okay? Like Anthony was describing the gener of Generation Y, so much of the Generation Y. And uh, how many people come into your business and they make it all about themselves? I talked about this, the, the three circles, the, the three spears yesterday, and, and that had to do with work, that had to do with relationships, that had to do with you. And what order do you put those in, in, in terms of importance and why? And so, so, but a lot of the people that come into your business, the first circle is me, <laughs> me. <laughs> I've had them in my team too, okay? Where they make it all about themselves, all about themselves. It's not about their team, it's about themselves. And so, so, the, so the focus is about how great I am, Look at the rank I have achieved. Uh, don't you wish you could be like me? You know, the, the, this kind of message and all that. It doesn't build anybody up. And sorry about that. That must be a truck down there. Go away. <laughs> anyway, uh, so so it doesn't build anybody up. So uh, examine that in your own life. How much do you really talk about you? How much do you? I mean. Are you really trying to reach out to people and find some fantastic, great qualities that you could take that person and say, you know, I really want to run with you. You know, I see that you got the potential of, of being a great leader in this company. So I want to make sure that you, you know, you achieve your goals. I'll help you. I won't do it for you. I won't do it for you, but I'm going to help you. But going back to what we talked about yesterday, I think it was, we went, I don't know what time that I, you know, be honest with you, I left at midnight last night. And so I went there, got there at 1030 in the morning, left at midnight. And some of these uh, days they go to two, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's, it's powerful. It really is. But what we talked about in the evening last night was values and rules, values and rules. So if you could put on a piece of paper, let's just say, uh, what your values are and you got to be brutally honest, you know, you cannot look good and do this at the same time Okay, and nobody's gonna see your paper. Okay, unless you want to put it on Facebook, you know <laughs> Anyway Nobody's gonna see it But your values for example love security significance uh, Joy um, Fulfillment you can think, we're not talking about a means to getting somewhere. We're talking about when you're there, what is it? And if you put that on a piece of paper and like, then after you do that, and I'll talk about this later in more detail, but for each value that you put, put the rules, what you must do on the right side, what you must do to achieve it, what you must do to achieve it. And when you create the, uh, the rules, then sometimes you see a reshifting of the values. You find out that you weren't as honest with yourself as you should have been. But okay, but you go ahead and do it anyway, right? You can always change it. 
There's nothing permanent here. Well, let me give you an example. There was a man, because uh, uh, Tony brought it up last night, he said, is there anyone in the audience that has ever thought about committed suicide? If you, if you have, stand up. And a number of people stood up, not surprising. <laughs> anyway, so he reaches out to one man, and, and so he, he works with the guy on uh, what led him to this point, and he had a secure job. And he left that secure job that he had for 30 years to another job that was going to pay more. And, uh, and so what happened was then that company had a lot of trouble and they ended up closing their doors. Now, see how this messes, it, it upsets his whole value system because his top uh, uh, value was love, then it was faith, and then it was helping others. And then the next one was security. And then it went further after that, right? But let's just go to what where I'm going with this, okay? So what happened was, so that's the hierarchy. That's how it's stacked. And if something below, let's say four or five values uh, gets, let's say, threatened, uh, it, it gets uh, threatened in a big way. It, it challenges every value above. Example. So love is very important. Faith is very important. Helping people, very important. So when Tony asked, he said, well, what exactly do you do to help people? Well, I mean, I, I reach out to them. I stay in touch with their lives. When they got problems, I help them out. Uh, he says, how do you help them out? This is the power of questions, my friend. We gotta get good at asking ourselves questions and other people, your leaders sometimes questions at times to see what's really going on inside them because we create these speed bumps and sometimes walls. And his answer was, well, yeah, I help them out financially too. And this was a guy who cut his wrists, you know, almost died. Friend came by, took him to the hospital, right? Anyway, so, he lost his job though, right? Because the company downsized. Now, he gave up a secure job that he had for 30 some years to go to one that was gonna pay more and then the company later, shortly after, closed their doors. Now he didn't have any cash flow. Where went, you know, that value of security, where did it go? Now he's in a crisis mode. But not just about that. Why is he in a crisis mode? Because of security. He can always get another job, but but now, if you think of the above values, helping others, how am I gonna help others now when I'm broke, I don't have any money? And why was love at the top? Love's important because if I help them, they'll love me. Faith was below that. If I help them, God will value, value me more. You see where I'm going with this? And that's what we talked about last night. I'm giving you the real, real, real short version of values and rules, okay? But that's how values and... So it was set up to lose, I mean, the way it was, you know. And, and, and actually, when we think about... And I, I can remember a girl one time. So love was at, at, at this... Not at this event. Just someone I knew from many years ago. But anyway, <laughs> but I always thought it was humorous. But I never thought about it in terms of values and rules. But love was at the top intimacy was the second okay okay intimacy um so who are you looking for uh i want to be married to a missionary i want someone spiritual okay later she upped the bar i want him to be a missionary and i want him to be italian Okay, new rules, new rules for intimacy. And again, that supports love, right? Uh, then it changed to, uh, I want him to be missionary, Italian, and be a millionaire. I want him to be wealthy. How many missionaries do you know that are wealthy? I mean, there might be some out there, but not, that's Italian at the same time? Good morning, Mindy. That's Italian at the same time? Needless to say, she's still single 
and she's probably now 64, 65 years old, still single. Is it any wonder? She set up the rules and that was her value system. And here's the thing, when she did not achieve the, the intimacy and love was above that, she was a failure at love too. And that's the problem. When we stack this thing where we're going to lose because of the rules associated with the values, we're screwed. We're setting ourselves up for failure. We gotta examine the rules, the rules that we've created in, in ourselves about what that means and what we gotta do to achieve that value. And I'm just telling you that when people join your business, hey Mindy, you know what I'm talking about because she's been to these before, uh, these events before many times. Um, when people join your business, just understand a lot of them and, and it's not, I, I, I titled this video, but you know, fixing what's broke, right? It's really a better way to say it is we've all, we all have our software. Tony talks about that's our software. So we can reprogram it, but we have to discover what these rules are and how they affect our values and how we have our values stacked. And maybe we might have to rearrange those values. Just understand that's not serving us. That's not serving us the way it is. See, if I've got to have security stack five down and I got love, faith, um, what was the other? Love, faith, helping people, helping people, I guess you, uh, and then, and then security's below that. And, 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 and so in order to achieve helping people, finding love, and finding faith, I have to be very good in the business world because I'm gonna to have to give away most of what I make anyway just to get love, just to get God's attention. It's just, it was amazing how the man on stage realized that. And then he said, yeah, yeah, I've been doing it wrong for decades, decades. But he woke up at the event yesterday. He woke up at about 11 o'clock last night <laughs> on stage <laughs> on stage and it was amazing and tony was incredibly patient with the guy to, you know because he would ask him a question he's trying to get deep into his head about the rules and the guy had to think and think and tony just waited he waited incredible impatient i mean incredible patience i'm sorry incredible patience that that tony has just to get the right answer not the answer that the guy wants to just throw out there just to let, let me just tell him what he wants to know no 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 you can't play that game with tony but uh he gave him the the true answer and tony just waited because again if it wasn't the answer that he felt was honest he's going to ask another question so you might as well just go go ahead and tell him the truth that way you just leave you alone let you off the stage and <laughs> go sit down <laughs> enjoy the event <laughs> So here's the thing. We all got to look at ourselves, number one, and ask ourselves, what are our rules in relation, to, in, in relation to our values and also our people? Just understand, when people come in, they might seem broken. They might say, oh, man, that, that's a mess. I don't, want, I don't think I want to work with that person. I don't think I want to help. I'm going to tell you, the ones you think will, won't, and the ones you think won't, will in this business. It's really true. And it's amazing how many people I've talked to, not even in network marketing at these events. I'm telling you, it's not GoPro that's gonna help these people. They need to come here. They need to get their psychology right, the psychology of success, the psychology of what's going on inside them so they can really reach their potential and be a performer. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you how invaluable these events are. So um, anyway, I hope you can catch one. Thank you, Nancy. Good talking to you, Mindy. John and all of you for getting on. I got to get ready and go down there today. You know, they 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 upped it an hour. They said it'll begin at 11:30, which means it'll begin probably at 12:15. <laughs> so, but they'll go to three in the morning, man. I'll tell you, these people are freaking intense. And I'll tell you, <clears throat> it's a perfect model. Uh, I love the energy at the event, the culture at this event, the music, the lights, and people are dancing and they're hugging and all that it's 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 amazing it's amazing i thought this is a perfect model 
Oh, thanks, Mindy, <laughs> for the reminder. This is a perfect model for how a network marketing event should be. It really is. It really is, because you think about it, 90% of what we do is emotion and 10% is knowledge. And yet you go to network marketing events and they got it in reverse. 90% is gonna be on about knowledge. We're gonna train them on the science of our product. We're gonna teach them the compensation plan. We're gonna tell them what they need to do and what the promotions are, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm telling you, uh, networkers, this is the place to be. And, uh, and then, and you meet some incredible people, no doubt they will join your business. So everyone have a wonderful day, a wonderful Sunday. It may be cold where you are. It's beautiful, 78 degrees here in West Palm Beach. Just loving this weather. Yeah, we will do that, Mindy. We, I'll be back here next year. And that's, thanks for reminding me, um, because I am gonna come back here. This is not gonna be something I just did once and I don't need date with destiny again. I'm gonna tell you, you need to hear this over and over and over again. You know who knows it best? Tony, why? He teaches it. He's been teaching this for decades. I mean, it's down to the, I mean, it, down to every cell in his body. He knows, he knows this material. And that's the thing. So it's not about coming here and being entertained. I mean, they don't, they don't let you do that. You'll have a partner to work with. You'll be in a team. You'll have coaches in that team. Everybody is assigned to a group. No matter, I don't care what you make. <laughs> Doesn't matter how successful you are in your network marketing company. There are no pins here, okay? You come here, you're gonna be assigned to somebody. It's awesome, I, I love it. And so, but I, yeah, thank you, Mindy, 40 years. So Tony's been teaching this for 40 years. But I'm just saying, this is something you come back, come back, I'll be here this time next year, that'll be my plans. And then um, uh, Unleash the Power Within is another event. I'm trying to make up my mind if I wanna to go to California or Chicago. That's coming up, and then also the uh, some of the other courses that they have on business. I think it's awesome. So I'm, I'm planning my schedules out to go to those events that he teaches as well. So I hope everyone have a wonderful Sunday. And uh, uh, Evie, uh, Evie says, someday I want to be there. Okay. Evie, why don't you just go ahead and look at the calendar of events and pick that day. And then push yourself to achieve enough success so that you can be. See, that's the thing. If, if we're vague about our goals, it's like shooting a rocket out and it's got no navigation planning in it whatsoever. It has no destination. I mean, it's got a lot of fire and it's up in the air, but it doesn't know where to go. So that's the thing that we wanna do. Set the date, thank you, Mindy, set the date at which event you want to go to, let's just say it's going to be here this time a year from now. Now, you know, you got to be here. Now, what do you got to do to make that happen? And if that means making more money, growing my team, then that's, that's what, that's, that's the plan, Sam. That's the plan. Then let's do it. <laughs> See, it's things like that that push you and you show up so differently. <laughs> so I hope everyone have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.